one of the things that was really awful about that was that it was really hard on the high performing graduate students you know because they felt that even being in the same category as the people who weren't working hard and pulling their weight devalued what they were doing you know and that's exactly right and so this is also why there's there's a conscientiousness trait and an agreeableness trait because conscientious people judge you on your accomplishments right they don't give a damn about your feelings not a bit it's like are you doing the work or not whereas agreeable people think well you know your mother's sick and you know you've you've got a bunch of family problems and and we all have to take care of each other and it's no wonder that you're having a rough time and like you can't say that one of those attitudes is correct and the other isn't correct you can't say that there wouldn't be those two dimensions if there wasn't something correct about both of them but you can certainly point out that often they conflict you know and so the demand for for inclusiveness and unity and care and the demand for high level performance in a hierarchical structure they're very different orientations in the world and so it's complicated for people who are agreeable and conscientious and actually I think often that large corporations and large large institutions of any sort run on the unheralded labor of people who are high in agreeableness and high in conscientiousness and they're disproportionately women and my experience in large institutions has been that if you want to hire someone to exploit appropriately no not appropriately if you want to hire someone to exploit productively you hire middle-aged women who are hyper conscientious and who are agreeable because they'll do everything they won't take credit for it and they won't complain and that's nasty and I think that happens all the time and so one of the things you have to be careful of if you're agreeable is not to be exploited because you'll line up to be exploited and I think the reason for that is because you're wired to be exploited by infants and so that just doesn't work so well in that actual world and one of the things one of the things that happens very often in psychotherapy you know people come to psychotherapy for multiple reasons but one of them is they often come because they're too agreeable and so what they get is so-called assertiveness training although it's not exactly assertiveness that's being trained what it is is the ability to learn how to negotiate on your own behalf and one of the things I tell agreeable people especially if they're conscientious is say what you think tell the truth about what you think there's going to be things you think that you think are nasty and harsh and they probably are nasty and harsh but they're also probably true and you need to bring those up to the forefront and deliver the message and it's not straightforward at all because agreeable people do not like conflict not at all they smooth the water you know and you can see you can see why that is in accordance with the hypothesis that I've been putting forward you don't want conflict around infants it's too damn dangerous you don't want fights to break out you don't want anything to disturb the the relative peace you know and if you're also more prone to being hurt physically and perhaps emotionally you also may be loath to engage in the kind of high intensity conflict that will solve problems in the short term because a lot of conflict it takes a lot of conflict to solve problems in the short term and you know if that can spiral up to where it's dangerous which it can if it gets uncontrolled it might be safer in the short term to keep the waters smooth and to not delve into those situations where conflict emerges the problem with that is it's not a very good medium to long-term strategy right because lots, lots of times there are things you have to talk about because they're not going to go away and so partly what you do with agreeable people is you get them to figure out and they have a hard time with this too if you ask a disagreeable person what what he wants say or she wants they'll tell you right away they, they know it's like this is what I want and this is how I'm going to get it but agreeable people especially if they're really agreeable are so agreeable that they often don't even know what they want because they're so accustomed to living for other people and to finding out what other people want and to trying to make them comfortable and so forth that it's harder for them to find a sense of their own desires as they move through life and that's not look there's situations where that's advantageous but it's certainly not advantageous if you're going to try to uh, forge yourself a career that just doesn't work at all